So in terms of how you actually get your data out of Mint, uh, that's what we're moving into now. So Monarch Money does have a Mint data exporter. I will leave that tool linked down below in the description as well uh, if you do want to go through this process. Again, like I said, hope is not all lost if you already did the sort of credit card mi migration. You know, if you haven't done that yet, you go do that now and then find out, oh, the new credit card kind of sucks and then you can come back to the video. Uh, that's basically what I did. Uh, <laughs> and then you're like, oh, I need something better. Uh, so the mint data exporter by Monarch money, what you need to do is of course you need to be logged in to a Google Chrome browser. This is their Chrome, uh, extension. So you can add it to your Chrome browser as a Chrome extension. Uh, once you do that, uh, again, you do need to make sure that you are logged in to your mint account, even though you can't really get beyond this page. Uh, all you can do here is download transactions. Now, the hidden data that is still technically there is also your account history. Now, transaction data matters more if you're into the budgeting side of things, uh, but account balance history matters more if you're into the net worth tracking side of things. Again, maybe you're into both, maybe you're sort of into one or the other, it just depends on what camp that you're in in terms of overall like personal finance tracking. Um, you know, a lot of people do like both. So that's what you can do here with this tool. Now this allows you to export your mint transactions and account balance history. Now this, all that this tool does is give you a CSV file, uh, basically a spreadsheet of all of your transactions. And then you can easily go, uh, and import it in to, uh, mint as well as you can see here from multiple people's recent you know processes you know you're able to export your mint history again this can be years and years and years of account balance history uh, as well as transaction history as well and again as you can see here there's it's not just within the ten thousand dollar or ten thousand uh ten thousand row limit uh, that is limited currently if you are just doing this button here you're limited to ten thousand so if you do have over that uh, you will need to use this data exporter tool, uh, you know, instead of having to append them, as you can see, you know, it, it, it's a little bit better. This is, you know, easy to do if you're familiar with CSVs, uh, you know, to get the 17,000, uh, you know, at, you know, it'll give you two downloads over 10,000. So you're not just limited as well. So that's something worth considering there. You know, if you need more information on that, feel free to read through these reviews, uh, depending on how much data that you have to export. Now, now personally, I didn't have over that amount, uh, but again, I've only been using Mint from maybe five, six years. So maybe some of these people have been using it for like 10 years or something like that. So that's worth considering there. Uh, so you can add this to your Chrome. Uh, and once you've added it and installed it into your Chrome tool, again, you don't have to use Monarch Money just to get the CSV file if you want to go and manipulate that data in your own spreadsheet uh, as well. So what you do is then you come over here to Mint, uh, and then you will go ahead and click on the Mint Data Exporter. You're logged into Mint, and then it will give you the option here uh, to download Mint Transactions. So that's the transaction button that you would see here, but you get over the 10,000. Uh, and then you also have, and this is personally what I found to be a game changer, is the ability to still download your Mint account balance history. This is something that I thought was completely lost uh, be before finding this tool. Uh, and I was like, oh, thankfully, this is not completely lost. <laughs> So you're able to still download your Mint account balance history. This is crucial if you're doing net worth tracking uh, to actually have that account balance history. And that's really also one of the reasons why I find Monarch to be really like the best tool overall is just because you have that historical data that you can both import and export from Monarch as well. And they do just make it really easy to make sure that you're completely updated and you still do have control over your data. They don't make it such a manual process like a lot of the other tools that are out there. Uh, so you can download your Mint, especially if you're making that Mint tran transition here. If you're watching this video looking for the alternative to Mint, the, then as you can see here, you download the Mint account balance history. We'll give you the CSV file. Now I'm not going to be showing you the details of all my personal transactions and CSVs, um, but that's how you do it. You click the buttons here. It will download the information and then to go and import the data into Monarch, they do, you know, they have this button here. Uh, if you are signed into Monarch, you know, then you could do that here uh, and import the data directly. Or, you know, you can just make your own spreadsheets with that CSV data uh, and manipulate it yourself if you want to do that. Uh, now to upload it into Monarch, 
they have tutorials here to upload the account balance history. Now, if every not if if some things don't show up, like for me personally, uh, when I was updating the information, my real estate didn't show up. So this uh, in terms of the history, so you may have to do certain things manually in terms of account balance history. Uh, so something like a Zestimate, you could you can do that manually as well uh, to update the balance history of your you know real estate through the Zestimate data from Zillow. You go into Zillow uh, and then you can just add your own spreadsheet. Uh, to upload that manually here within their CSV uh, format. So they do have that labeled here, very easy to do. Uh, they even have like a, a basic version that you can download within the app uh, as well. And then this is the CSV format you use and you can easily import it to get your data. They do also have this tutorial video here. Uh, I'm not gonna be watching that here in this video, but you can upload your balance history. So this is really great if maybe not everything um, exported perfectly. Most things will export pretty seamlessly, uh, you know, from the data exporter, but not necessarily everything. So if you do need to get that back history that's further back, that's how you do it here uh, within Monarch Money. Now, you can also import, again, your transactions here. As you can see, this is what it looks like if you're on your savings account and you need to upload your transactions or your balance history. Uh, and then you can go ahead and, you know, download their example spreadsheet uh, to import other data uh, as well. This is a lot easier if you're just doing the mint export again from Mint to Monarch. It is pretty easy for that workflow. Uh, but if you do need to add maybe some other information that didn't completely transfer, uh, then you could do that here as well, following their simple tutorials. So guys, <laughs> that is, you know, Monarch Money in a nutshell and how to uh, use the Mint tools to export the data, get that out of there and get into something ultimately better and just as a great Mint alternative. Again, if you are sort of uh, salty and frustrated with how, uh, honestly, lackluster the overall Credit Karma transition tool uh, really is in terms of not only just net worth tracking and then the fact that there is no budgeting features whatsoever. Again, highly recommend Monarch Money. Uh, and hopefully you found this tutorial helpful as well if you're trying to get your data out of there, even if you don't decide to go with Monarch Money. Again, if you do want to try them out, uh, I do have a link down below to an extended 30-day uh, free trial if you do want to try them out and give them a shot. So guys, that is the video here today of them Mint is, is, is donezo. Uh, and that's really what I found to be the best alternative and how to get access to your data. So again, guys, it's Monarch Money uh, and Mint shut down. So, you know, you got to find something else. Uh, so again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Anyway, guys, that's all for today's video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.